Football is back and the lights of Friday night have never burned so bright. Coming up in this jam-packed edition of FFX, we'll take you across the Golden Empire and show you the best that Kern County has to offer. That feeling of having it back for this long, I mean, it just goes to prove why we do what we do, and it just it, it was just such a rewarding feeling being back out there. This is FFX, Friday Football Extra. Hello and welcome into the first ever spring edition of Friday Football Extra. I'm your host, Taylor Schaub, and tonight my job is simple. Showcase the student athletes from your local high schools, and we've got a lot of great ones, and we start tonight in a familiar place. Normally a week two matchup, the Liberty High School Patriots hosting Coach Cornford and the Wolfpack in what was both schools' first competitive match since 2019. All right, let's go out to the highlights. Liberty heading out to the field. They're hosting Ridgeview, as we said tonight. Exciting stuff right here. First play action. Looks like a fumble there. And recovery sets up Ridgeview. Oh, I'm sorry, it sets, yeah, it sets up Ridgeview there for the touchdown. That is Jaron Amos with the touchdown there. That's six-nothing Ridgeview. But then it was all Liberty from here. Going in, driving in for the touchdown, making it seven to six. Next Liberty drive here. Hayden Mann finds Jason Oliver into the end zone, extending Liberty's lead. Liberty not giving up the, the Wolfpack a chance as we take a look at the next play here. And Liberty just cruising, and they would defeat Ridgeview 45-6. to Like we said, the final score is 45-6. Let's hear from Brian Nixon. Oh, I think they did a good job, man, for having three weeks to prepare, and I thought our kids played well. We did a little fastball and, um, you know, minimized some of the mistakes, but overall, good, good outing for everybody. That's why they're one of the best teams in Kern County. Unfortunately, not everyone made it onto the field tonight. Two powerhouse programs had to postpone their varsity game due to COVID-19 protocols. Frontier and Stockdale High School confirmed this afternoon that they would not be joining the rest of KHSD on the gridiron tonight. The junior varsity game still went on as planned. The Titans and Mustangs will make up their game April 30th at Frontier High School. And Michael Stewart and the Drillers took to the road this evening to face the Centennial Golden Hawks. Could BHS continue to build up their program under Stewart's reign? Let's find out together. All right, let's take a look out here. Centennial hosting the Drillers tonight, as we said, exciting stuff. Great to see both teams back out here. Captains toss right here. First play action, BHS quarterback Aiden Montero finds Will Bourne for a good game there. Montero to Will Bourne once again, and the Drillers would strike there for a touchdown. 7 0 BHS. Tristan Flores of Centennial showing off his speed right here. And that is a great look how fast he is. Oh, what a great play there. And this game would be a barn burner all night long as we take a look at the final score coming up right now. And you could see it, it was a barn burner. BHS Drillers won 37 to 30. Now, what a great game. That was a final in overtime. And join us Sunday at FFX. We'll have a full deep dive into that game. One of the best games of the night. Speaking of great games, the Blades traveling to face the Vikings tonight in a classic East vs. West showdown. Vikings up early on. They run out onto their home turf for the game. And look at them. What a great game so far. The action. All right. Again, Vikings play here. Little bit of a gain there for the Vikings. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. You can take a look at the cheerleaders. They're happy to be back out. And a deep pass right there. East touchdown. Exciting stuff. And another drive through to the end zone right there for the Vikings. This game was back and forth all night long. Aton Wall was shooting the game for us. All right, close game here. 
and the final score would be 24-21. That's the final for East and West. All right, let's move things over. Now, as we take a listen to what the winning head coach had to say. Uh, just be proud. I mean, exactly why they're out here is uh, that, and be proud of what they're out here for, and uh, to don't don't ever give up, and always battle your adversities with uh, a lot of pride and, and passion, and that's what we did tonight. Now to North at Highland. Let's take a look right here. That is Michael Gutierrez and senior quarterback A.J. Cleveland. They're gearing up to face North High School, looking to build off of a good year right there. Deep pass caught right there. Impressive stuff early on. And this game, well, it would be all Highland. Look at that shot right there. The Scotsman playing incredibly well tonight. And it was an aerial attack from quarterback A.J. Cleveland and they would go on to win the game 28 to 20. That's the final score there. The Highland Scots win that game. All right, coming up in FFX, the Generals head to Arvin seeking revenge for their 2019 playoff loss against the Bears. We have your highlights after the break. You've tuned into FFX, Friday Football Extra, presented by Had Dad Dodge Ram, Kern County's original truck country since 1974. Okay, see you when I get back from vacation. I want to go on vacation. Well, now that we're serving our Aussie dog, Texas dog, and new cobble dog during the hot dogs from around the world event, it's like you're on a vacation right now. Did you hear that? We're on vacation. Vacation over. Can I help you? Take your taste buds on vacation during hot dogs from around the world at Wiener Schnitzel. Mountain views, but close to the coast. That special spot in California's heartland called Bakersfield, where it's about family, dedication, and a community where folks take pride in a job well done. North Bakersfield Toyota is committed to supporting you. Whether it's work, play, or family, there's a vehicle for you that has it all, with the dependability and value you expect from Toyota. Browse models online at NorthBakersfieldToyota.com or see our selection for yourself right off 99 at Industry Parkway, North Bakersfield. It's okay that you don't want to be first. You aren't. Second COVID vaccine. It's okay to have questions. Everyone deserves answers. I'm wary that there isn't enough information. It's okay to be excited or worried or both. It's all right for it to take whatever it takes for you to be ready. Hi, Mom. Ready for your shot? Yes, I've been waiting for this day. We just got what? Vaccinated. We just got vaccinated. Let's get you there. Let's get to immunity. Millions of customers are leaving their providers and switching to Spectrum. And if you have AT&T with DirecTV, it's not hard to see why. Because while AT&T charges you extra for an internet modem, Spectrum gives it to you for free. They do? Yeah, they do. And Spectrum has the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance. Get Spectrum Internet with speeds at 100 megabits for $44.99 a month. Call 833-970-4499. Spectrum wins on TV, too. Unlike AT&T with DirecTV Select, Spectrum has more free HD and free on demand, and sports channels are included. Wow, really? Really? Plus, get exclusive original content with Spectrum Originals. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-970-4499. And unlike AT&T with DirecTV, Spectrum doesn't have contracts or early termination fees. We'll even buy out your current contract up to $500. Switch to America's fastest growing internet, TV, and voice provider. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Ask about our easy self-install options. Call 833-970-4499. FFX, Friday Football Extra. Welcome back into FFX. Wow, it just felt crazy to go through five full football games. But the first full week of the high school football season actually started last night when the reigning state champion Bakersfield Christian Eagles hosted a familiar foe in Central Valley Christian. Let's take a look back at how this nail-biter ensued. All right, take a look at the team running onto the field under a beautiful sunset. Then you got a fan. Look, he's excited to be out here. All right, late first quarter BCHS ball. 
Quarterback Jordan Delgado connects with wideout Keyshawn Kizzy. BCHS up 8 to nothing, following a two-point conversion. Now, second quarter action coming up, and it's BCHS ball. A little handoff to Nathan Perez. He's breaking free. He's finding his way to the end zone. That's a touchdown. BCHS. End of the second quarter now as we go. BCHS ball. Connection. Running. Kizzy. Touchdown. Yes. That's number two. You can see it. He's putting his fingers in the air. What a stud. He's only a sophomore. Punt blocked there. You can see CVC recovering for the touchdown. This is when they would start to make a little bit of a comeback. Next play here ends another scoring play. Things got really tight as the game went later on. But after a successful drive, you can see another touchdown this time to KJ Jackson. He'd force his way to the end zone and BCHS would win this game. Just a great game and a great win for Coach Darren Carr and the boys. Yeah, I mean, you don't tell these guys, but you expect a little bit of sloppiness, you know, after uh, after not being on the field for quite some time. You do what you can within a month, you know. Uh, but kudos to these guys and these coaches trying to get these guys ready, but we got a lot of work to do. And just six days after a tough road loss to Templeton, the Wasco Tigers once again found themselves on the wrong end of a blowout last night. The team fell 53-7 against a Tulare Union team, and the lone bright spot for the Tigers came in the second quarter when quarterback Jacob Ruiz ran it in for Wasco's only touchdown of the night. Meanwhile, Tulare Union's quarterback, Jorge Gonzalez, he accounted for six total touchdowns. Pretty impressive stuff. Back to tonight, and remember how we told you that Coach Gerald Perucci and the Generals wanted revenge against the Arvin Bears? Well, just let's just say they uh, looked really good early on. The boys in blue and gold just started a scoring attack early on in Arvin, and well, it just kept going all night long. Final score from this game, well, as you would expect, Shafter would win it. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. 52 to 3. Yeah, looks a lot different than the 2019 playoff matchup, doesn't it? All right, meanwhile, South High faces off against a Falcons squad looking to make some noise in this abbreviated spring season. The Falcons quarterback, LaDon Denmark, looks to connect for a long pass. Oh my goodness, look at that! Incredible. And another great play here. South High quarterback King Ellis decides to run it in for himself. And what a play right there. Mason Rockfellow shooting for us. And he got some great clips tonight. And this was a great game. Actually got better as it went later on. Let's take a look at the final score now. And it was a 20 to 17 barn burner. The Independence Falcons won this game. Yeah, they did. All right, back in Bakersfield, second year head coach James Kane looks to continue to build off a promising young bulldog squad. As we take a look at some highlights here, and this game, well, let's just say that it was low scoring early on until this play right here by the Golden Valley Bulldogs as they would score a touchdown. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much all she wrote for Golden Valley. They won six to nothing. Kind of the opposite of the last game that we just had. And finally, the Bronx traveled down to 178 tonight to take on the Bronx, or to take on the Lions. We're gonna pick things up in the third quarter here. And that's a running touchdown. As you can tell, look how fast he is. Wow. No, I know, I, I, we, we, we sped that up, don't worry. Anyways, the final score is 41 to 32. Miramonte, they looked really great tonight. All right, coming up, we are just minutes away from more FFX, and we're checking on your play and player of the week. Stay tuned. You're tuned into FFX Friday Football Extra. Since 1984, Personal Express Insurance has provided great rates with the local advantage. Interesting and fun. Join me, Nicole Gitsky, Fridays. Great things about the Golden Empire. Popcorn on KGET.com. Sponsored by Bakersfield Heart Hospital. Get it? For hugs. 
Get it for haircuts, for birthdays, family photos, and dreams come true. For drinks, dessert, and everything in between. Get it for big swings, big adventures, and the biggest days of your life. The black community is among the hardest hit by the coronavirus. Our death rate is 7% higher than the state average. We've got to do everything to keep each other safe. When it's your turn, get vaccinated. Protect yourself and others from this deadly virus. Distrust and uncertainty are real. But the COVID-19 vaccines have been validated by top medical experts to be safe and effective, and they are free. Let's make us better, save lives, and beat this pandemic. With Chase Freedom Unlimited, I earn all this cash back? Oh, I gotta tell everyone. Hey, Rita, you can earn 3% on dining, including takeout. Bon appetit. Hey, Kim, you earn 5% on travel purchased through Chase. Way ahead of you. Hey, Neil, you can earn 3% at drugstores. Buddy, I'm right here. Why are you yelling? Because that's what I do. You're always earning with 5% cash back on travel purchased through Chase. 3% of drugstores, 3% on dining, including takeout, and 1.5% on everything else you buy. Chase, make more of what's yours. Well, welcome back. It's trophy time here on FFX. Well, it is, you know, Oscar season. So we thought we would take a look at the top plays and hand out some awards right here. Does this play look familiar? We just showed it to you. That South High's quarterback, King Ellis, he decided to keep the ball and take it all the way down for a touchdown. He gets the play of the week. What a great play. Well, I just want to take a look at it again. Love this guy. Awesome. Anyways, here is the hit of the week. This was shot by our photographer, Sam Montero, and this was awesome. That's Joey Sanchez there, number 12 with the tackle. Let's take a look at it one more time. I really just want to slow that down. What a great hit of the week. And finally, we'd be remiss if we didn't spotlight a very special student athlete. And tonight, our award goes to, well, take a look for yourself. That's sophomore for, uh, Jojo Mata. He torched the defense and caught a couple of big touchdown plays so he is our ffx player of the week congratulations to him all right still on ffx this week's behind us but there's another one ahead we'll have a preview of next week's matchups coming up you're tuned in to FFX Friday Football Extra. The official food sponsor of FFX is Barrington's Jamaican Kitchen. Mention FFX and receive 10% off. Tracking justice within Kern County. Providing a voice for victims. Cold case information. Kern County's Homicide Tracker on KGET.com. The official food sponsor of FFX is Barrington's Jamaican Kitchen. Proudly supporting our local athletes. Mention FFX and receive 10% off. My husband and I have been buying from Bill Wright Toyota for the past 20 years. We've even purchased our children's vehicles from here. I like coming here because they're kind, they're respectful. They make it really easy. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, join Bill Wright Toyota during our ultimate month-end pre-owned sales event with inventory starting as low as $3,900. With over 100 used cars in stock, you'll be sure to find just about anything you're looking for. We're Bill Wright Toyota, doing it the right way for over 50 years. Our Save More event is on at More Furniture. And it's a great time to treat yourself and your home to a new look at one low price. Like this versatile sofa with pull-out sleeper, only $36 a month. Create your dream bedroom with this rustic bedroom set featuring ample storage, only $17 a month. And dine in style with this dining set for only $11 a month. Or get all three rooms for only $64 a month. You don't have to sacrifice style for value during the Save More event at More Furniture for Less. 
The official food sponsor of FFX is Barrington's Jamaican Kitchen. Proudly supporting our local athletes. Mention FFX and receive 10% off. will mark 100 days 100 days since they vanished 100 days of searching 100 days of mystery join 17 news as we investigate from day one missing where are the boys wednesday morning on 17 news at sunrise welcome back before we get to the week two matchups or at least what we're considering week two let's go over the one more game that's actually happening tomorrow garces will host st francis as the rams look to continue a strong start under the paul gola era we're going to see if they can go 2-0 and then the next week the rams will host california powerhouse sierra canyon one of the rams biggest tests thus far they really booked themselves a hard schedule all right coming up bchs will take on or well, you can see right there that's the sierra canyon game we're really excited for that that's going to start at 5 p.m now bhs they will take on stockdale stockdale of course will be playing their first game of the 2021 spring abbreviated season because of the COVID-19 protocols, but that's a big game. And then Centennial at Liberty. We both, we saw it tonight. Liberty looked incredible. We are excited to cover that game as well. That's all for us tonight. Be sure to tune in on Sunday for our special edition of FFX. That's on at 6 p.m. And for all of my photogs who ran around tonight and covered all of these games, I really appreciate you guys. Please, everybody, have a good weekend and join us on Sunday. Thank you.